Um, this is now a poem for my father, who who's very, very old and lost memory. And the title of the poem is Now That You've Lost Your Memory. Now that you've lost your memory and can only smile defenseless, I want to help. It was you, after all, who opened my imagination like a demiurge. I remember our excursions, woolly clouds swimming low over a damp mountain forest. You knew every path in those woods. And the summer day when we scaled the heights of a lighthouse above the Baltic and we watched the endless rippling of the sea, its white stitches frayed like basted seams. I won't forget that moment. I think you were moved too. It seemed as though, as though we saw the whole world, boundless, calmly breathing, blue and perfect, at once distinct and hazy, near and far. We felt the planet's roundness. We heard the gulls who played at aimless gliding through warm and chilly currents of the air. I can't help you. I have only one memory. <coughs> now this is a, <coughs> a childhood poem, the next one is called Piano Lesson. Um, doesn't need any explanation. Piano lesson at the neighbors, Mr. and Mrs. J. I am in their apartment for the first time, which smells different than ours. Ours has no smell, it seems to me. Rags everywhere, thick Persian carpets. I know that they are Armenians, but don't know what that means. Armenians have carpets. Dust wanders through the air imported from Lvov, medieval dust. We don't have rags or Middle Ages. We don't know who we are, maybe wanderers. Sometimes I think we don't exist, only others are. The acoustics are great in our neighbor's apartment. It's quiet in this apartment. A piano stands in the room like a lazy, tamed predator. And in it, in its very heart, the black ball of music resides. Mrs. J told me right after the first or second lesson that I should take up languages, since I showed no talent for music. <laughs> I show no talent for music. I should take up languages instead. Music will always be elsewhere, out of reach, in someone else's apartment. The black ball will be hidden elsewhere. But there may be other meetings revelations. I had it home, head hanging, a little saddened, a little pleased. Home where there was no smell of Persia, only amateur pictures, watercolors. And I thought with bitterness and pleasure that I had only language, just words, pictures, just the world. <coughs> 